Chris John for KaijuPop.com, uh, giving you something a little bit different to what we usually look at. Um, mm -hmm. This time, instead of looking at an iPhone game per se, uh, this is really just a tech demo for something called You Move. You Move with two O's. It's like a company populated by cows or something. Yee. Um, so you move is a head and eye tracking thing um, for iPhone and eye devices that uses the front facing camera of your phone uh, to do some pretty convincing uh, head tracking stuff that's really pretty interesting. Um, so let's uh, let's jump in and, and show you. Basically, this is just I mean it is there is a game to it where you're flying through and collecting stuff, but. Uh, it's it's hardly fully featured. This this app is free. Um, it's not designed to be hey a great game. It's it's designed to show off the tech, which is pretty cool actually. Um, so yeah, instead of tilting around to fly, I'm going to be using my head to move about. So uh, here's a video for idiots uh, <laughs> confused by this whole process. And that's me right there. Hey hello. So I'm going to tap to start. And um, you have to get over the idea that you have to move your head about. And it's, you can see, it's uh, pretty convincing, um, you know, in how it's, it's tracking my head movements. And then you're away here um, in this sort of flying game where you have a limited amount of time and you just gotta fly around this sort of Arabian village and collect shit. Um, so yeah, I mean, as you can see just from the calibration phase, I was hardly moving around my head very much. Um, it's just very, very slight tilts. Um, you know, so not that I've tried this on public transportation. You could almost do it and not look like a weirdo. Um, perhaps less so, you know, it, it might even be slightly less obvious than if you were well, if you were tilting your phone about. Um, so it's, yeah, it's it's really quite reliable and it works. And this is coming from, you know, my only other experiences with just head, camera-based head tracking was um, playing Forza with Kinect. And that just didn't work because Kinect didn't work. You know, that was Forza 4, not Forza 5. Um, but still um that was really particularly unreliable hello i back myself into a corner here um but i think because here and i think having said what i've just said the camera's lost me <laughs> so i wonder if i can pause yeah i mean so you can pause and then it, it will give you the chance to recalibrate a little bit um and get back to it yeah there you go it's kind of found me again um, and I'm missing two orbs, I don't know where they are. It seems to be, I think it's, it's kind of more convincing at getting you to pitch down and tilt left or right than it is to get, to, to get you to level up. And as soon as you move your phone, it, it kind of goes all skew with. So, you know, I mean, it is still something that I'm not sure. I think I've got my lights giving me issues, possibly. Um, like all kinds of technology, this was working for me before, so... Ah, there we go. So if I move away from the light, it might be... Yeah, there you go. So I think that's that's much better. So I think perhaps lights lights throw it off. Um, so it is kind of... Possibly you could say, well, if this is in a handheld format, it's it's... You know, I mean, you, you're supposed to play this in, in all kinds of environments and, you know, it might not work in all kinds of environments. Um, but, yeah, it's... I'm kind of impressed by it. Just, you know, just by the fact that it works and that it's surprisingly subtle with, with how far it, it, it's going. I think the company um, behind it is also messing around with... Ah, uh, there it is. I'm going to run out of time. I'm not going to make it, am I? I'm not going to make it. I don't know when the last thing was. Mm. Here, maybe here. 
Nope. I'm going to crash into unconsciousness. I have no idea. Um, yeah, they're, they're also looking into pupil tracking as well, which is another interesting field. And um, it's not something, in a way, you know, I, I don't think this is... Uh, you know, I don't think that this is the, the, the best way to experience iPhone games um, from here on out. But I do think that, you know, that it's got a lot of interesting applications. Uh, you can play for an SDK straight from within the app, uh, or you can check out some, some other tech demos that they've made. Um, and it is, yeah, it's an interesting thing. I think more than anything else, it'll be an interesting way of, of perhaps getting games into the hands of the disabled. Um, that perhaps doesn't don't have you know the control of, of both hands required to hold a, a joypad or a keyboard and a mouse at the same time. Um, having head tracking is is a good way of doing that, and uh, yeah, it's it's interesting to say the least. It, it's nice to have you know these these natty little tech demos that, that show off what you can do with just a, a front facing camera. So yeah, that's you move with with two O's uh, on iOS and it's free right now. Thanks for watching. Bye.